Hey Jess, how's it going? Alright, let me check the dailies real quick because an event just popped up. I'm gonna make sure there's nothing in an event I need to do. Showdowns, posse and fighting. Okay, that should be fine. Hey, good morning, Rose. Um, of course I've loaded in like three or four times the last couple days and it's been beautiful, sunny, and now we're in a nighttime cycle. So rude. <laughs> I think it's rude. Hey, White Raven, how's it going? You made it! Uh, right now I'm on the Arden because I'm working on this bay horse video. And I thought I had all the footage for all the horses. And um, then I was going back through just to double check and I missed the horses where bay is the first part of the name. So this one is a bay roan and I missed it. And there's two Criolos that have bay. Bay Overo and bay um, Brindle. And I don't know why I was looking for bay at like the end, like blood bay, uh, mahogany bay, you know. Hey, Sir Will, how's it going? Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you. Have a great rest of your day. So yeah, so right now we got this Arden because I still haven't been able to get the footage for him. Or her. It's sugar. It's a girl. So yeah, I think... I think the pr almost um, I think the prettiest bay horse I'm gonna have to go look back through him because I was thinking it was gonna be one horse but I actually think that bay turkeyman is freaking gorgeous the shire is really pretty too though because the shire has got that really nice coat with the black tones in it and when the sun hits it it just like is amazing I got a red arabian on my third account I nearly called a griefer as a joke griefer I don't know why, but a lot of griefers do ride like the black Arabians and the Arabians. I was hoping to have the video out last weekend, Raven, but <clears throat> yeah, it didn't work out because one, I missed these three horses and then I had this huge project due this week. So I'm hoping to work on it today after the stream some because Gypsy's at work today. And uh, so I'm hoping to be able to get at least the rest of the footage and start I started putting the video together so I have like the intro and like the first horse but there's now 14 horses instead of the 11 I originally thought I'm also a babe but I don't got the feather and the feather is so pretty I love the feather on horses hey morning Jose winter's been hard up here in Norway uh that is yeah I don't I say I moved south to get away from the very cold uh, hard winters. <laughs> yeah, I almost kept the Turkmen, but then I had to I had to get these horses to film, so I don't have them right now. The Blackshire is my first horse, and I still love my old faithful today. I love the Blackshire. I wish it were online so I could have it for my my uh, female character. The Red Ribbon is the stereotypical grief for one. Yeah, since it's the cheapest, <laughs> it's like two fifty, right? I think. It's like if you're a new, if you're like a new player and you're a griefer, you have the Red Arabian because it's fast, it's got relatively good stats, and you only have to spend 250. Because you probably spend all your money on tonics. All right, take a look at some dailies here, and I am doing some collecting today because I am on fire. I have gotten in the last two days like four obsidians. I was full. I had to sell an obsidian, which is obscene, obscene insane i think i just combined insane and obscene together by the way that's how my day is gonna go today um i got a gold dollar a gold quarter i got you funny enough my rare arrowhead right now is a slate arrowhead i have six arrowhead sets i have nine obsidians that's because i sold one because i kept pulling them i have nine agate and i just pulled another quartz last night and i have eight um, I have six slate arrowheads. What is happening? <laughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> well, it's 175 at the moment, so it's even cheaper. I think it's regularly 250. Yeah. Um, hi, Lucian. Welcome from Romania. I forgot what breed of warhorse I have. 
Right now, I think the only Warhorse type breed I have is this Arden. I don't think I have uh, in my stables. Um, as far as coins go to, like I'm also pulling out a ton of coins. I still have only six, but it's because the Liberty Quarter <clears throat> and the Gold Quarter. I've been pulling them. I was at like one or two for each of those, so it's it's coming along. And nothing else seems to be rare, and I have been pulling those, so I think it's okay. Oh, the 1790s Jaco, I think I just sold down because I pull a lot of those. And I was collecting last night, so I got more pennies, so... I'm hoping to get uh, a little bit further on the coin collection. <clears throat> Goodness, sorry I'm clearing my throat so much. I went for a walk this morning. It is beautiful outside. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to have to go sit outside and read a little bit, I think. All right, one animal tea sold, five candies eaten, four coyote skinned, five meats eaten, five non-player enemies killed while in Deneye, three player kills with a pistol and showdowns, and a posse infighting completed. If I end up getting the posse infighting, I'll go in and do the showdowns, because uh, I'm at 0.25, as long as it didn't reset last night. Uh, two bounties brought in from New Austin posters, three bounty targets looted, one player bounty collected, three camp stews eaten, one resupply completed within five minutes. I have to do that. Uh, two resupply missions completed, three American wildflowers found, five bird eggs, three family heirlooms, drink your own strong moonshine, complete two story missions, play with the band for two minutes, uh, use or craft two blending tonics, uh, craft or cook seven items at the wilderness camp, and photograph a legendary animal. So let's just see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. <clears throat> ten, eleven. There's plenty to do the roll ones today. <clears throat> Goodness. All right, <clears throat> start with this resupply here. Ah, don't come too close. My breath is lethal. <laughs> Onions, it turns <clears throat> out. Not a great. Story. I mean, anyway, I want to know what if he's eating like straight onion or if he cooked it. To trade if you can do some Why would you just have onion as a snack? Work, just how you like it. Oh man, this is still a bug. <laughs> well, there's the trader. Where's the pronghorn? Fuck. <laughs> well, that sucks. <clears throat> How much time's on the timer? 11 minutes. I haven't gotten that bug in a long time. We ain't, we ain't making it up to Big Valley and back down here in 11 minutes. I don't need to do it in five minutes. I'm so thirsty for new horses. Me too. New coats. Like, I don't even need new horse breeds, although that would be awesome. One, I need them to bring all the horses from Story and bring them to online. That would be a good start. Blackshire. Uh, reversed apple thoroughbred, few spotted appaloosa, uh, buttermilk buckskin, um, all of the gang horses that we don't have access to. So the golden dapple turkeyman for a uh, Sadie. Like I just need them to bring all the horses that you can have in story. Uh, what I really love is for them to also bring all the horses online, like the royal horses, to story, so I can use a, a roadster with Arthur. <laughs> so that's step one. Uh, step two, like new breeds would be great, but like it would be really nice if you could just take a breed and change it to whatever coat and pattern you want. Liver chestnut Morgan, that's another one. I always forget the I always forget the color name of the color for that one. All right, take two. Let's try again. I'm gonna eat my three Sues real quick. Let's try again. I just realized that I don't have the overlay on this because I was getting video. <laughs> I'm going to sneeze. Whoa, that one came out of nowhere. Oh, goodness. I think the buttermilk buckskin is actually super cute. I did a whole playthrough with Arthur on that one. Super cute. I love it. Uh, let me put my overlay back on here. So I think that would be a nice one. Uh, Buell, like bring, I know a lot of people love Buell, like bring Buell. Melts in your mouth. 
Can you not give me a hunting one this time? Like, that would be such an easy thing, Jess, and, like, it, they wouldn't even have to do any work for it. <laughs> like, they could just... They could just add all the horses. Yeah, add the horses and give me more stables and I'll be happy. Oh no, he's giving me the same, same dialogue. My contact says he's willing to trade if you can do some hunting for him. Good, honest work. Just how you like it. My allergies are out of control right now. I, I literally just got the same dialogue and the same resupply. What is up with that? <clears throat> yeah, let us choose colors and patterns. So like, don't lock it to a specific horse. So if I want to have a roadster, if I want to have like a solid black roadster, let me do that. If I want to have a roadster that's black with white socks, let me do that. If I want to have a roadster that has the pattern of the uh, piebald gypsy cob, like, let me have that. Like, just have a, uh, like, pattern color wheel and let me pick. Uh, all right, I need to be on the lookout for a pronghorn. It's just a snake. I missed. That was brutal. Like, why can't we make our own marbled Criollo? Yeah, why can't we make our Criollo black uh, and white straight marbled? Not, not, that's not even brown. I don't even know what to call that color. Um, <clears throat> chartreuse? <laughs> What is our chartreuse the color? Just what I needed. Now feel free to help yourself to those supplies. I didn't know pronghorns existed until I got red dead. We did get meaty boy, Corolla. We did. He looks like meat. It amazes me how that is some people's favorite horse and, and color pattern. It just goes to show that we're all different and we all have different likes and dislikes. I see meat, they see beauty. I think that's pretty awesome. <clears throat> but yeah, I agree. I think we should have a color wheel pattern wheel and you should be able to have any coat color pattern on any horse breed that you want. Yeah, the pattern's nice, but the color is just off for me. Like, again, it just reminds me of like raw meat in the grocery store. Like if you go to the raw meat section, You'll see, and you see a piece of raw meat that's really marbled. Again, marbled, like fat marbling. Like, you'll see it. You'll see the Criolla. <clears throat> the Brindle Criolla has to be one of the least popular horse coats. Never seen anybody. It's true. I rarely see anybody on the, the Brindle. Uh, I probably see more people on the marbled than the, than the Brindle. All right, well, that was nice and easy. Well, something's better oh, than I brought the whole thing home, Crips. Get off my back. All right, let's see how many supplies. Okay, <clears throat> I've got enough materials to probably get me to about 75 or so, it looks like, so... Excuse me. Uh, you walked into me, good sir. All right, since I am in New Austin, I'm gonna go ahead and do the bounties, I think. Two, okay, I can do two of the bounties. <clears throat> I don't know that I'm gonna collect the eggs. So that's gonna leave one less for a collector. I'll probably do the heirlooms and was it flowers was the other one? Yeah. I actually collected some flowers down here, so I'm not going to worry about trying to collect any here in New Austin. I did a bit of collecting in New Austin last night. It was freaking busy. 
Like, there were so many people. Uh, and everybody was being relatively nice. And then all of a sudden, I'm just, like, riding. I didn't even see a blue dot on my screen. Next thing I know, I'm killed by some player. In their rank hundreds, you know. Typical griefer range. So I blew him up a couple times. He also pissed off another posse, though, like a posse of three. So they kept killing him before I could get him with the dynamite. So I was like, okay. I got him, like, twice. And I was like, do, do your thing. Uh... I was like, do your thing, other posse. I was trying to relax anyway and just collect some. I think it's four coyotes today. Pretty sure. I have had... My lobbies have been... Let me look real quick. <clears throat> okay, I only have 24 in this lobby. Um, I've been regularly getting 27 to like 29 in my lobbies and I have had an increase of people shooting me I don't know if that's just the bigger lobbies or just I don't know people are just being more dicks than usual I guess hey morning Louise how's it going hope you get some good sleep morning hook girl <clears throat> I can't quite see that picture is kind of tiny. Are you holding like a dog up next to your face in that picture, Hope Girl? Dude, this Arden poops a lot. Every time we stop, but like more excessively than other horses. Yeah. Do, do, do. I woke up at 6.30 this morning. Good morning, Sir Doug. It was my rowdy. Your big tongue is looking me nice. Wow. <laughs> I have a picture like that, but it's where I'm, I'm holding my, my little dachshund up next to me. <laughs> Sir Poops a lot. That should be your name. Except it's a girl. It'd have to be Lady Poops a lot. And that just doesn't have the same ring. Yeah. Sugar's a girl. <laughs> morning, Rose. Did I say morning? Were you in here first? I think you were in here first. You were. I said good morning. Good morning again. Big horse, more poop. It's true. It's true. It's true, true. We'll stick with the two person. <clears throat> oh, you are not forgettable. <laughs> I just forget sometimes. Because my brain, my brain is don't work. As soon as I said it, I was like, no, I already said hi to Rose. Not that I can't say hi again. Um, I woke up at 6.30 this morning and sent Gypsy a text because he had to go into work at 7. And just told him I hope, hope you had a good day. Good morning. Hope you had a good day. And then I was like, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. You have to work. But I'm going back to sleep. I slept till 9.30. Uh, when I had a bay run, our dad, I called her Brienne. Is that, is that how you say it? Brienne? That's pretty. I like it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You were just in the road and I was looking at chat. I think I just have to loot and turn them in. So I don't even have to. I don't even have to keep them alive. I can just kill them. I'm going to do that. Do, 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 do. I named one of the horses in the video Bob, I'm pretty sure. Whenever, because when I'm buying discard, discarding horses for a video, like I have to think of a name real quick, and I think one I was just like, Bob. <laughs> Your name is Bob. This horse is not very sure-footed. We've fallen a lot over here in New Austin. Not, not like the Mustangs over here. She's had some troubles. We've taken some falls where I didn't think we should have taken some falls. Red is like a really buff female knight from Game of Thrones. It works perfectly. I've never watched Game of Thrones or read Game of Thrones. Uh, hey, get out of I don't need you alive. Come back.
Oh, I forgot to loot one more though. I should have done the six person. Dag on it. Yeah, Game of Thrones was never. I was never like super interested. I have the book series. I started reading at one point. And I was like, mm, I don't know that this is for me. Also, I heard that the last season of Game of Thrones was really bad. So I'm like, why should I even start it now then? There's no point. All right, let me bring Carl Matthews over to the road to make this a little bit easier. I'm, I, I'd say that I'm not that picky about stuff, but like I am kind of particular about some stuff that I watch. Like there's definitely things that I'm just not interested in. The last season was such a disappointment. <laughs> That's what I hear. Okay, does anybody here watch The Good Doctor? I think they're in their final season. Like, they're, um, it's like the series finale. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody, though, so I want to know, uh, I want to know if anybody watches The Good Doctor before I start talking. <laughs> it is, but since George hasn't finished the books, I blame it on the writers of the show. Yes, also, he's very slow to write books and finish them. He's just like, well, I'll get to it when I get to it. Whatever. Also, a water bottle, and I think a Starbucks cup made it into the show. <laughs> nope, lost interest season one. I thought The Good Doctor was pretty good through... I watched, like, the first, like, two or three seasons, I think. And it wasn't bad. Uh, I definitely am not caught up. I just caught an article of it. Haven't watched The Good Doctor. All right, I'll leave any names out. If you don't want any spoilers for The Good Doctor, though, stop listening for the next, like, two minutes. So I'm reading an article. I'm just like, this is why I don't... Why I, like, I hate watching new shows, like, shows that I'm not prepared for, like, that I don't... I like watching shows that I've already seen, so I know what's happening and I'm prepared when somebody's going to die. So they basically are going to kill off, like, a lead character, or did, I don't know if it already aired, of the show... And not only did they kill him in not a great, like, the reasoning is his, and then, so the reasoning, um, I don't want to say what the reasoning was because I might give away who it is if you watch the show. Um, his boyfriend was, oh, that's probably my giveaway too, was waiting at a restaurant nearby to propose. And I was like, this is awful. I don't watch shows to be depressed. <laughs> I was like, there was this happy moment that was going to happen and they killed him. And I was like, why can't, why can't you just let them have the happy moment and then have them like transfer to another hospital somewhere <laughs> so that if they want to leave the show, I hate you. I hate people. I hate writers. They just want to tear your heart out and it's so unnecessary sometimes. Good Doctor was pretty good though for the first first couple seasons I watched I but I didn't finish it so I can't tell you if it's pretty good another one that I started and didn't finish was the rookie uh which I thought was really good as well um and I want to go back and watch the rookie because I totally ship uh Tim and Lucy I think they are the most adorable couple on this planet and I hear that they do end up getting together and I think that's amazing been a Grace fan since the beginning I have a total love hate with the writers I had to stop watching Grey's Anatomy. I did. Um, I think that there are some amazing scenes in that show. And I also think that the bullshit romance stuff got to be too much bullshit for me. <laughs> you in the bounty business, huh? Got like, to me, the here. show should have focused more on the medicine and not the romantic drama as much. Technically, I could do a poster from anywhere now because I just need to loot one, but I'm just going to do one from right here. I only briefly know the character Two Rose because I'm not sure he was around the first... Like, I know who it is. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I recognize that character, but I don't know. Like, but they said he is, like, a main character. Um, am I about to get shot? No. Um, and also the reasoning, uh, too, was was very uh, bold of them. Um, it was not a... It was not a uh, 
It was a hate crime, but not because of his sexual orientation, I don't think. I believe it was a religious hate crime. Um, but at the same time, I'm just like, why can't you just let characters be happy sometimes? <laughs> why do I have to be depressed as the person watching? All right, fellas. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to loot this guy because he burned. I hate you, game. <laughs> what kind of luck is that? I'm such a shipper. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tim and Lucy are like, if you've never seen the rookie, just, just, just YouTube Tim and Lucy and watch a scene with them in it. Oh, my heart. They make such an adorable couple. I also, uh, when I was watching, um, uh, I'm shoot, NCIS Los Angeles, Kenzie and Deeks, yes. I love it when the guy is, like, very protective. Like, that's, that hit, that hits a spot for me. All right, sir, guess I'm going to do one more bounty. Well, you ain't left much for the law to do now, have you? Got your reward here. <laughs> do all right, let's go. I'm gonna go do a bounty somewhere else. I'm gonna go to Emerald Station. Looks like I missed out on some good solid shippings. I, I like that there's a lot of females in chat right now. I feel like sometimes I'm talking to like most of the guys and guys are like ships, shipping people like what, what? <laughs> if you have a favorite show and you have a favorite like characters that you ship, let me know what it is. I'm curious. <laughs> I feel like I don't always go for the obvious too. Like in Buffy, I was a huge Buffy Spike fan. And I know people hate me for that and they're like, no, it's all about Angel, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, Spike was the better character though. Like he really was. What's shipping? <laughs> uh, when you like read a book or a movie or like something and you uh, want to, like, you see two characters having a romantic, like, relationship, I guess. I, I don't know if that's the best way to describe that, but it's like, even if they're not together, you're like, those two should be together. Like, I want them to write them as a couple. I ship Wolfstar. I don't know what that is. Do, 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 do. Oh, Sirius Black and Remus Lupin. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. There's some good stories out there too where like, you know, they, uh, Sirius like survives and like, yeah, there's some good, there's some good ones out there. That's such a sad, if you think about it in Harry Potter, like the whole Marauders thing is such a sad because none of them live. Like, it's such a sad part of the story. Elizabeth and Jack Sparrow. Mm-hmm. I never know. Did they end up together in the end? Like, because I know they, like, sort of were, but then I'm not sure I finished the last movie. The last movie he was in, at least. Uh, dude, that whole situation makes me so pissed off that we have movies that are basically un unfinished or ruined because they had to bring another actor in because of the whole Amber Heard situation. Like, that really makes me mad. I hate it when it's such a good pairing and uh, and the writers decide not to do it or decide to break them up or whatever. 
Another good one is, uh, is it a, uh, it's, I've never really watched the show the whole way through, but I've seen enough clips and, and watched enough of it. Is it Elena is her name and Damon from Vampire Diaries? I liked, I liked them better than, uh, her and, uh, I think it was Stefan was the other guy's name. Amber Heard was the obvious abuser. Yes. And the fact that she cost him so much, uh, for like, aside from all the personal stuff she cost him, like, the fact that there are movies out there that he was kicked off of because of that is just insane to me. not that good. <laughs> oh, that guy's just sitting there. He's contemplating life. out didn't you see that get down get down here hey when health on shows the uh, whole ass fan base gets canceled after like one or two seasons on netflix warrior looks pretty good now it's warrior nun now it's over i hate so this is why i don't i agree and i i hate it when like there's a really good fan base and then they're just like yeah they give it the axe and I guess it's based off numbers, but at the same time, this is why I don't like to start shows that only have like a season under their belt. And I definitely don't like to start new shows. It is so loud. I got to take a headset off here. I feel like I'm yelling. Um, I don't like watching a show like debut season one. Warrior Nun. That's so weird. I don't think I've heard of that. Gimli and Legolas. I do not ship them, but, but Legolas and Aragon. Yes. But I don't ship too much for Lord of the Rings. Like, Aragon and Arwen are, like, perfect couple. Oh, okay. I can't pull the trigger? All right. Can't pull the trigger on my sidearms. <laughs> We're just gonna run. <laughs> Game was like, nope. Nope. All right, I did loot this guy, right? I think I looted him. Yep, I looted him. I listened to the whole thing when they were in court. They got nothing on him. No. The the whole thing to me was crazy watching that because her lawyer really was awful. Like if you watch um, if you watch that, like her lawyers, oof. Like they were not good. <laughs> I ship Luna and Harry. Oh, that's such a cute pairing. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of ship J Draco and Hermione. <laughs> I like a reformed bad boy. It's all there for you. Hope it was worth it. Not as bad as Hannah G's lawyer. I'm sorry. I know. I knew that would get. <laughs> I knew that. I knew some people would be unhappy. Yeah, I could see it happening. Hey, Diana. Yeah, yeah. After the series, yeah. I think they would be really cute together. I think he would um, be a good match for her intellectually. Like, I feel like Draco is really smart. Like, he he reads is very smart, um, and Hermione is very smart. And I think that toward the end, Draco realized that 
what he had grown up being basically um what's the word i'm looking for um not just taught but he'd been indoctrined into was incorrect and i think he i think he realized that at the end he didn't want to be doing what he was being told he needed to do and i think he was doing it for family he was doing it to try to keep his mom and his dad safe and i'm not saying he wasn't a little shit at the beginning <laughs> and i'm not saying he wasn't a bully but i think he grew up at the end and i think he realized and i so i feel like he could have really made a transformation and i think they could have made an adorable couple Hey, Black Wolf, how's it going? Uh, all right, let me pull up the Gene Roku map here. Oh, I must have X'd out of it. Hmm. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, whatever. Clear my damn trail. Sir, I am not in. I'm not even on the road. How hard was that? You're on a little teeny tiny Morgan. You got plenty of space. Get out of here. You're just jealous of my big horse. You're just jelly of the big horse. Is he calling for the sheriff? I <laughs> need more boards up here. Nice. All right. Well, there's two heirlooms here. Oh, somebody's dying. Uh, scrawny nag is here. Oh, can I feed you? I can't. I can't feed him. I'm sorry, buddy. Can I give you a cookie? I can't. I can't give you a cookie. I'm, I tried. What? Come on. I was trying to give him a cookie. He's about ready to collapse. Y'all are mean. I should take him to grass. I wish that would actually fill their cores up if you left them grazing near grass. Happy Saturday, Diana. All right then. Well. If I don't get on him. Oh, is this his horse? Dude, your horse needs a cookie. Is this your horse, sir? Okay, bye, Raven. Me and the sheriff? Dude, We're look at this thing. This is sad. This would be such a pretty horse if it didn't have mange. Okay, we led him over to some hay barrels. You got to do the rest, buddy. You got to do the rest. Oh, hello again. I don't think he's even trying to eat. He's just hanging his head in, in awfulness. Take care of your horse, you asshole. Give him a cookie. He probably don't have no cookies. He's probably new. You should be able to feed any horse in this game. What I need to do is go through and see what cards I need to make full sets. I gotta say the animation was sad, but damn the physics of the horse animation. It is so freaking lifelike. It is crazy. I wish every person, every developer out there would do the animation that, that Rockstar did. Put put the things on an actual animal and get the actual animations. I mean, everything of like what they did, like they may not have gotten everything perfect, but the actual horse mechanics and movement are phenomenal. Your horse is such a sweet name, it gave me diabetes. Diabetes. I would say sugar doesn't necessarily cause diabetes. But that would be a whole debate that would probably turn into an argument. 
Oh, so this horse's name is Sugar. <laughs> She's a temporary horse because I'm getting footage for bay horses right now. I still need to get the uh, two Criollos, so she won't she won't be able to stick around, unfortunately. So we're just doing temporary horses, temporary names. So her name is Sugar. I felt like she kind of looked like a sugar with her mane and tail. Sugar, sugar. I don't like how that strap is clipping in right now. It's not clipping on this side. It's just clipping on this side. Can we lead through this gate? We can lead through the gate. I'm not a huge role player, but like when it's pouring down rain, I like to lead my horse into like the barn and hang out there until it stops raining. <laughs> Feels appropriate. Um, okay, so I got the last bounty loot. I'm gonna go collect all the things in, uh, the planes. There's quite a few. I left it last night. There's like three coins, I think. I'm hoping I get lucky and get another, uh, quarter. Now I need to get some slate arrowheads, though. I'm like, apparently slate is now my rare one. That's so weird. Like I could sense the weight of the horse with every step it took, yeah. To me, it is it's insane, and and those mechanics, um, even even like animals dying mechanics, they got done like a little bit too well. All right, there's another heirloom right in here, so that's perfect because I need that. Finish the daily. Hey, Omar, how's it going? This game is a grind. I guess it, it could be considered a little grindy. I don't really think of it that way. What, what part of it do you think is a grind? Just like initially? Or are you talking about like online? Just like initially getting enough money and gold to do stuff? Like compared to other games I play, like I feel like this one doesn't seem like too much of a grind. But I guess it's just because I really enjoy playing. If I'm trying to like rank up a uh, pass in Dead by Daylight, now that's a freaking grind. Good morning, Winterfall. Quick Google search. Sugar doesn't cause type 2 diabetes, but having high body weight increases the risk. High sugar diet leads to high body weight. Not as Well, yes, that is true. Uh, having a high sugar diet doesn't necessarily lead to higher body weight. It has to do with your overall calories. Um, I would say that fat is very healthy for you, but having a super high fat diet is more likely to lead a higher body weight than having a high sugar diet. There was a video of somebody, um, a doctor, uh, I, forget, oh, I forget who it was. A couple people have done it, but like someone I watched recently ate as much sugar as he possibly could. And I'm talking spoonfuls of sugar, like as like in ex such an excessive amount of sugar while staying at a calorie deficit. And he still lost like 30 pounds or something like that. So it's definitely a combination of things for sure. If you're, if you're, no, you could eat, if you ate in a calorie deficit and all you ate was Cheetos, Skittles, um, and Ding Dongs, you would still lose weight. Now, your blood work might not be fantastic, <laughs> but you wouldn't be overweight and it wouldn't necessarily lead to diabetes. I think, I think your genetic predisposition has a little bit to do with it too. What about a high fat, high sugar diet? I guess it just depends on if you're going over your calories or not. Uh, online, the starting part, couldn't manage to get gold for any of the rolls. So when you first start out, Omar, yes, you definitely, it's gonna take a little bit to get, it doesn't take too long though to get your first roll. What I would do is start with, um, do all of your story missions um, and stranger missions on the map. So I'm sure you've seen the strangers on the map, um, these guys here. Um, however, um, 
blood money missions also give you gold. So you start that up in San Denis. You've probably, you probably have already done this, right? There was a yellow marker for Guido Martelli somewhere here. And then some of these strangers get this teardrop with the money symbol, like Anthony Foreman here, Sean McGuire's one of them here. Um, over here, James Langton is one, and Joe, I think, is the other one. So Joe's out here. So these guys will give blood money missions, and they also give gold, and it's free. Uh, it's all about carbs. That is a uh, fact check false. <laughs> carbs are extremely healthy for you. They're your body's main energy source. They're very important for your brain. Carbs do not make you fat. Eating in excess of calories leads to weight gain. Of anything, if you're eating anything of too much excess, uh, if you're going, if you are eating more calories than you burn, it doesn't matter what those calories are. It could be uh, fish. It could be fish. If you're eating an excess of calories of fish, like you could gain weight. Like it's just, you know. Now that doesn't mean that it's as simple as that, but it is also that is what it is. Carbs will raise your sugar, but should, that's not a bad thing. That's just your body's natural reaction. Carbs are super healthy for you like eat your carbs guys do not be afraid of carbs this is why we have such a problem in america with nutrition shit what was i gonna collect out here all right i got that i got that i got that also good morning tony um there was a university professor eating nothing but twinkies and kept to his calorie needs and still lost yeah exactly and and improved labs i remember this guy also improved labs like you would think eating as much sugar as possible and like eating a bunch of junk uh, but he actually improved some of his laps. I'm not saying that's the healthiest way to go about it. And you shouldn't. You should eat vegetables <laughs> and fruits. Um, it's bad for me having type 2 diabetes. There's a lot of research and literature out there, Tony, um, about carbs and type 2 diabetes. Um, obviously, this is not medical information. I'm not going to tell you what to do or how to live your life. And I, I'm sure you've worked out what works best for you. But there's a lot of misinformation out there. And I think that type 2 diabetes could be more effectively managed or even uh, you can get rid of it uh, through diet. And avoiding carbs, I don't actually believe, based off the research, is a long is a long term solution. In my opinion. Because again, uh, the research in the literature is showing that type 2 diabetes has to do with more, has to do more with fat in the cells and things not being able to go properly between the cell walls uh, and things getting binded in the receptors and stuff. And it's not actually a carb sugar issue as much as, as much as we've been led to believe. But the problem is, the problem is that we're so backwards here in who pays for research, what information, you know, who, who, who the lobbying, like it's just a mess, it's just a mess. So everybody ultimately just has to be on their own journey with their doctor and do what they think is best. But I do think it is a shame that there's so much misinformation and, and contradicting information out there on health issues, so. Yeah, the leg shake too. Uh, when the horse is exhausted or underfed, the leg, like even getting up. Um, so if a horse like crashes and they try to get up and their legs are shaking and it's so sad. Morning, David. How's it going? But yeah, that's just my, that's just my personal opinion on all the research that I have done. Obviously, I am not a medical doctor and that is no substitute for uh, your advice and what you do with your body and your doctor. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Tony, I absolutely agree. You could definitely cut out carbs and your A1C will absolutely drop. It's not a coincidence. Like, yeah, def cutting carbs is 100% going to improve your numbers. Absolutely. I just don't think it's a way to lead to, uh, a, like, a cure of type 2 diabetes so that you can go back to eating all the foods, like, and you don't have to restrict. I absolutely think your numbers probably improved. I think it is a valid way to get your type 2 diabetes under control. It's just sad to me that there's not more research and doctors pushing what will ultimately in a more sustainable healthy way like lead to control of type 2 diabetes that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying um but a lot of people will say that the research and the the people maybe that i listen to and follow are out of their minds like i understand like i get it i understand um 
you know, when an idea is not super mainstream, it's harder to convince people that, hey, this research is actually like, this is what's helping. Obviously, when it works for people, like that's anecdotal evidence and you can't take that as it's going to work for everybody sort of thing. That's why research needs to be in place. Um, but I'm a huge follower of like Dr. Neil Bernard and the work he's doing with, with uh, he now he specifically is more looking at, uh, I guess he, he's looking at, at probably both types of diabetes, actually, um, type one and type two. Um, but he's been able to get a lot of his patients down to even on type one diabetes where they can lessen the insulin that they have to take uh, based off the principles. And he's a big high carb proponent. I have a lot of issues liver transplanting answer it yeah see that's that's all stuff that like that's crazy i'm i'm hope you're uh, feeling good now though um meds will definitely mess with your sugar levels your blood levels like that's all like your body having to accept something uh else into you like yeah that's it's why it's such a oh this must not be the spot it's it's not a it's not a black and white and i don't like it when people talk in terms of black and white either like it's not a one size fits all I just wish doctors, I wish that doctors had to do more nutrition education to become a doctor. Um, because I think that nutrition and food plays a huge role in our overall health. And I think that doctors don't receive any type of nutrition training other than a couple hours. Um, is this a cougar here? Yes. Turned its head at the last second. I, I wanted the coyotes. They're down here. I thought I seen him. What? Did they despawn? There was just like a group of animals right down here. Did they run because I shot the cougar? Um, but yeah, I feel like it would be so much better if doctors had to actually get nutrition education. Because instead of just prescribing a pill, which I'm not saying like obviously 100% to totally necessary in a lot of cases. Um, I'm sorry, guy. No, you had dropped. Um, hmm. I don't know where the cougars or the coyotes went. I think that they incorporate like if they incorporated nutrition education too, like it would it would help a lot. Um. So right now I'm on the Bay Roan Arden. I needed it for a. I need it for a video, so I got it right now. Um, I'm doing pretty good, David. Didn't big sugar start the whole fat is terrible for you thing and everyone has a ton of sugar? Yeah, so the problem was in the, I forget I forget how long ago it was, in there was this huge thing where like fat's bad for you. And so they went through this, you know, fat's terrible for you and everybody's like, you need to have low fat. The problem was we didn't actually go low fat and all the processed products that came out were high in sugar. And so we just really didn't lower our fat levels and we added a bunch of sugar into our diet. And that really, I think, led to a lot of really unhealthy habits in people. And I don't, I'm not saying that uh, you can't have a ding dong because like, I'm not one of those people that walks to the grocery store and is like, this is toxic and there's chemicals in it and you should never eat it. Like eat the chocolate guys, eat the, eat the processed food, just moderate it. Like you have it one time a week, like don't completely cut it out if you love a particular food. And then I think a good rule of thumb is like eat 80% of your calories as like good whole foods. Like for me, that's gonna be things like vegetables fruits legumes uh car like healthy carbs like things like that and yours is probably going to include things like fish lean cuts of meat that sort of thing um and uh just because i don't eat meat so it's going to look different for everybody but if you if you stick to like eight, the 80 20 principle like 80 percent of your food is whole foods you know, it's it's cooked well, you're cooking at home, like you're eating healthy foods, which again is not accessible to everybody in America, which is also a huge problem. Um, and 20% is your, you know, your, your more fun calories. You, we would have a lot better balance here, I think. My husband said jokingly that he's not taking diet for someone named BK. Dude, have you heard the new commercials out there right now? Uh, 
BK, have it your way. And I was like, no, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> hey, I didn't nick myself. I didn't nickname myself BK, just so you know. This is not Burger King, you cannot have it your way. I can't tell you the last time I ate at Burger King. It's been, been well over a decade. Well over. Actually, I don't eat fast food at all now for the most part, except occasionally I'll get Chipotle. And we're talking like less, like once every couple months. Maybe Subway. And Gypsy and I will get like uh, pizza from uh, Blaze. That's good. That's good that your doctor sent you to an actual dietitian. So many times, like, doctors try to give you, like, and they'll just be like, do this and this. Uh, I went to a doctor last year for just my yearly physical, and she was like, uh, you know, asked what my diet was. And then, and I told her that I was vegan, and she's like, okay, make sure you're getting, like, you know, lots of lean fit or, like, yeah, fresh or uh, wild caught fish and lean meats. And I was like, bitch, did you not hear what I said? <laughs> I won't, I won't be eating those, but thank you. And I guarantee you I know way more about nutrition than you do. I don't care if they're a doctor. Look, you can be educated on a topic that a doctor is not educated on. They're not educated on nutrition, period. Like, they just aren't. That doesn't mean they're not very educated and they don't know way more than I do on certain things. But just because somebody has a, a degree doesn't necessarily mean they're the authority on everything. I hate that. I hate that. I just, just, you know, just listen to your doctor. No, sometimes you gotta question shit. Like, you just do. It's like the horse vets and hoof knowledge. Yeah, you wanna go to a farrier for that, right? They're probably gonna be the ones that are gonna know more. That's why he's my doctor, no biggie. That's good, when you can find a good doctor. So, uh, this past week, um, I went to the doctor. It was a recommendation from a coworker. Um, for a gynecologist. She was probably the best doctor I have ever sat with in my entire life. She was amazing. She, so uh, I also saw a different doctor like two or three weeks ago. I was literally in there for, oh, this bear, this bear went away. I was gonna, I was gonna stare him down. Uh, she, I probably saw her for three, I waited for like an hour for this appointment. I probably saw her for like three minutes. She was not helpful. Uh, and she just recommended a test. Like, and that was it. Um, and, uh, like a, not, not, not like a, I go to get a blood work test, but like a major, a major thing. I don't want to get into too much of my medical details. Uh, and that was it. So I went and saw this doctor, different, different, entirely different reason entirely different doctor i went and saw her and she was amazing amazing she asked questions she sat there she listened i was with her probably 20 minutes we did an initial consultation where she asked a bunch of questions we talked about a bunch of stuff then we did then she left and i you know then she came back in for the exam then we talked again like fan if you can find a good doctor like fantastic it's really hard too. It is really hard to find a good doctor. I had an issue. So last year when I went to get my physical, I had something I wanted to talk to the doctor about. I talked to her about it and she's like, oh yeah, no big deal. And I was like, no, it, it actually is a, it actually is a big deal, <laughs> but she like completely blew me off and I just stopped talking and I was like, okay. <laughs> Got to do a walkabout with the dog back soon. Have fun. Best horse in the game all around for me. That's going to be probably the Dapplebuckskin Roadster that I have. Uh, for me, that's like one of my best horses in the game. Um, probably close, close seconds would be my Black Arabian and my Brown Leopard Appaloosa. Yep. And my Black Standard Bread. Those are all some of my best horses in the game right now. I'm not saying that's going to be your best horse though, because everybody has their own like, like what horse works best for them sort of a thing. But like, those are my favorites. There's a burrito place in town called Freebirds that's taken over my Chipotle love. Ooh, yeah, Chipotle's not even that fantastic, but they've got the sofritas, uh, which is the braised tofu, which is delicious. And so every once in a while I get a craving, but sometimes I eat it and it's like, ah. Arabian Uhu scared of everything? Come on now. You just don't have a good Arabian.
Do, do, do. Uh, I guess we probably should keep the rifle on. I'm going to be honest and I like your sentiment. While you don't question your doc and everything, some people take your idea of you might be a doc, but that doesn't make you an expert, literally. Um, I don't think you need to 100% agree with your doctor. I don't. I think your doctor is human. It's okay if you don't agree with me. Like, that's fine. That's just, just my opinion. Your doctor is human, and they come with their own biases and, you know, education. Your doctor is very knowledgeable. It does not mean that you have to... That's why you get second opinions, second or third opinions, because doctors don't agree. Like doctors don't agree on everything. Um, and what works for you might not be like the first doctor you went to, the thing that they suggest. So I think it's okay to question doctors. I, I, I don't think that you should think that you know more than them when it comes to a particular topic, other than like things like nutrition, because they don't, they don't, they don't get any education on nutrition. Let's just get that out of the way. They just don't. Uh, and any good doctor will tell you that. They will send you to a dietitian. Like Tony was saying, his doctor sent him to a dietitian. That's a good doctor. They know that they don't have that education. They send you to an expert, somebody who does. But at the end of the day, all human, all, like all doctors are human. Yep. And they're not perfect. You said there's so much misinformation out there, but questioning everything is the cause of that. Um, I think that what's the cause of it is greediness, honestly. I don't, I don't think it's questioning. I don't think it's questioning so much as I think it's greed. People put out people put out books and make a lot of money catering to something that they know is an issue and they give you false information because it makes money. I don't think yeah, I think what we said, I don't think it's inherent to misinformation. I think greed is inherent to misinformation. I think big companies who want to sell a lot of stuff, I think is a, a cause of misinformation. A big cause. Uh, that was the coin, right? And I was full of those. All right, I should swing back up. Well then. Do, 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 do. Uh, let me see. Uh, my mom has to be super persistent with doctors too. They just dismiss any little thing. It's been a huge problem. They do. Like I hate that. Like I get it. Doctors are overworked. They schedule too many appointments. They don't have enough time to see you. Like, I, I get it, but it's not fair as well. I think Mustangs are pretty good all around. I agree. Not too expensive, great speed. That is my number one rec for um, new new players. I had the black would buck me off every time I saw a gaver. Really? This one doesn't do that. I haven't had them out in a while. We're a little rusty. I think a big cause of mis misinformation is that people don't look up their sources. Uh, that's true. The problem is the is that the internet is so accessible and anybody can put out anything. So when you're scrolling through like Instagram, anybody is an expert in quotes and sounds like they know what they're talking about and doesn't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, when you have you have to look up you need to look up sources when you're looking up research. Uh, research studies, you need to find out what the like variables were. You need to find out who funded it. Uh, you need to find out if they dismissed um, results. Like there's a lot more that goes into looking at research studies than just reading a study and being like, oh, this title, the study is this research study did this and found this. Like you need to find out if that was like a viable, uh, credible study. Do, do, do. Still does pretty good around the gators. It's the darkness again. All right, what collectibles do we got around here? Let's see. All right, good, we got an arrowhead. I need a slate. I know I asked for agate, obsidian, and all those, but now I need a slate. My guess is, Sim, that there are actually scientists out there that think the Earth is flat. Actual, legit, and I know there are, like actual 
uh, PhD like scientists that believe the Earth is flat. That's why I'm saying that the degree doesn't mean anything necessarily. Not necessarily. That's why I'm saying you can't just look at an expert, somebody that's got because there's there's somebody out there that has an extreme opinion that isn't true that has PhD uh, after their name. That's my point. Hey Gen X, how's it going? Morning IPA. Horses are like weapons, it's personal preference, 100%. My Arabian's good, a lot of people say their Arabians are skittish. But a lot of people try to tell me that no Arabian is good and that's when I'll pull my Arabian out. And I'll just be like... It's just me, so for me it's Turkmen's. Uh, Turkmen's are super skittish for me, most of the time. I use Google but I look for specific sources, yeah. Um, if I look for medical information, I'm looking at the Mayo Clinic and other hospital phone, not like a wellness blog on Instagram, exactly. I think the problem is everybody has a platform right now, so everybody can say whatever they want to. And nobody checks that. There's, there's like no checks against that. You can just, you, I could get on and say whatever I wanted. And it doesn't necessarily have to be true, as long as I get people to listen to me and believe it. When Galileo said sun is in the center, they hang him. Yeah, I, I think you have to question things in order to get advancement. Scientists, PhDs, medical doctors, they're not infallible. They're not perfect. They're human. We do the best we can with the information that we have, and we continue to question things and push the boundaries in order to make new discoveries, learn new things. Um, that's just, that's how it is when it comes to science. You, you can't, I hate, I'm sorry. And if this offends you, I'm sorry. I hate this idea of you can never question anything if the experts say it. That leads to that leads to a whole lot of bad shit that's happened in history. I mean, I don't want to bring up something like, uh, you know, oh, you know, all Jewish people are, you know, they need to go. And what does that lead to? You you get something where people don't question. And it leads to it leads to, to bad shit in history. <laughs> That's all I'll say. And I'm not saying that I'm right. These are just my opinions. You guys are welcome to disagree with them. But I, I don't think that Yay, a Liberty Quarter. I needed that. Fantastic. I'm just saying it's important to question. And then at some point you also do have to trust, uh, you know, certain people as well, certain, certain. But there's no, no, there's no shame. Don't feel like you can't go get a second or a third opinion before you make a decision as to what kind of medical treatment is best for you. If, if you don't like your doctor or you don't agree with them or you don't think what they're saying is true and you want to go get a second opinion, if that second opinion says exactly the same thing, then you can feel a little bit more comfortable and confident that the treatment plan you're going forward with is a good one. But it's okay to have questions, especially when it comes to your own health. Yeah. Um, all right, so we got the coin. All right, we're gonna go for this arrowhead up here. Uh, EM. Doop, 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 doop. Um, hey, Juo, how's it going? <gasps> Sorry, Juo. <laughs> <laughs> Gen X says to the degree can't save you from hanging. Yep. It's true. I had a great family doctor, then she left. Boo. I am now in search of a new uh, eye doctor again. My eye doctor up north was the best in the world. I mean, probably not the best in the world, but he was amazing and I loved him. And so I have a new eye doctor down here and I just really don't like them. Gypsy likes them, it's their recommendation. But he also doesn't have, like his eyes are good, like he has good eyesight. So what he has to see them for is not like the same as what I need to see them for and what I need to see them for, I just don't, I just don't super like them that much. So I need to find a new eye doctor. I need to find a new eye doctor. Which I'm not looking forward to. Is there any way to find airhead locations with their names? Nope, completely random. Completely random. Such a shame when they change that to random. All right, so the, the whole, <laughs> I wonder how many people stuck around for that conversation. At the end of the day, guys, you have to do what's best for you. That's all I'm saying. Like, these are my opinions. It has nothing to do with whether or not, I, I don't disagree with some of the things you guys were saying. I just like, 
this is this is my opinion on all the research and like stuff i've done so that's it and that was a pretty heavy conversation this morning so moving on <laughs> anybody go see the new godzilla movie i knew i know black wolf saw it gypsy wants to go see it i told him i go with him I don't think we're gonna go this weekend though because he had to work all day today. He doesn't get off till like four. Occasionally, so with the random items, like occasionally jewelry will have a static spawn like this one up here. I'm getting ready to go to today is the Yates. They don't all have static spawns and they're, um, but occasionally, like if you're looking for a jewelry check every day because you might, you might be able to see it on a static spawn. Although I think there's some that never go static. I hear it. Where is it? Is it in this one? In the wrong spot? There we go. Hey queen, how's it going? You haven't been able to find a single obsidian. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I've gotten like five in the last two days. I had to go sell one. I pulled one out and I was full. I don't understand. They're just everywhere. When they're in a chest outside, I think I can see the name. Um, no, none of the arrowheads are ever have a static spawn or you can see the name. They're all they're all random right now. But the, the some of the rings and stuff and bracelets. That kind of jewelry has a static for the day. You're missing the quartz. So the quartz is the one I was missing the most of, but I've even pulled a couple of those out lately. I'm up to eight. So right now it's the, uh, it is the, what did I say? The slate. I can't find any slates. I don't know how you stick with Red Dead for so long, um, but I can't last two weeks without getting bored. I just find it so relaxing. Like there's so much variety that I can do and I find it so relaxing. And just like collecting and talking to you guys is just really great for me. Like I enjoy it. Hey ghost, how's it going? I mean, I just honestly sometimes just get in and I just like move my horse around and I just think how beautiful it is. <laughs> I'm just like out for a ride with my pony. Uh, bye, Tony. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day. Even though we butt heads sometimes, I, I appreciate our conversation. <laughs> do, do, do. Whoops! I searched the random sp item spots and the airhead spots and still nothing. I know. Sometimes you just get into a thing where you can't find it. I'm sorry, Arabian. I'm sorry. Sorry, Shadow. Um, the random spots do tend to be a little bit better sometimes for the rare ones. Is this in the house? Keep up the good work and we'll be asking you to Hey guys, in. I don't think it's inside. Oh, there it is. I was like, I hear it. I hear it. I appreciate the different opinions in chats. I do too. I don't I don't think I'm right all the time. I I think that my opinions are because I've done my own research and I've it's like what I believe to be the best answer. But that doesn't mean I'm right. And I change my opinion all the time. And somebody might say something that gives me something to think about. I'll be like, you know what? That's something I need to look into. I don't like different opinions. You'll have to agree with me. <laughs> I needs my coffee. Coffee, coffee. I can never get bored with this game. Yeah, I don't. Like, are there days where I play less? Sure. Are there days where I do nothing literally but get in here and just like walk around and I, I don't do anything? I just appreciate the ambience? Yes. Yeah. I think the world, we would never go anywhere if people didn't have differing opinions. I've talked about this before too. You should watch Project Runway. And um, uh, Michael Kors said, um, whoop, sorry, give me a second. Ah! Uh, yeah, sorry, Gen X. Uh, for some reason, Stream Elements does not like those emotes. <laughs> At least no one started fighting about whether or not the Earth is flat. <laughs> yes. Um, and he said, when you're working in a group, like when you're trying to create something, he's like, you don't want to be in a group 
where everybody agrees with everybody because he's like, then you just sit around and you look at each other and like, you're fabulous. No, you're fabulous. No, you're fabulous. And nothing great gets created. <laughs> he's like, you want people that question you, that you guys get into discussions and you like don't necessarily agree because that's when something amazing happens. And I think that's totally the same when it comes to advancements in medicine, technology. You have somebody that thinks something can be done better or differently or doesn't agree with something and you question it and that's how that's how magic happens yeah. i know stream elements is such a bitch <laughs> i need to finish final fantasy 9 and start a new Elden Ring playthrough yeah. for the dlc but i'm hooked on red dead that's my biggest problem i have so many games i want to play and i just get so hooked on red dead all the time and of course i'm playing a lot of fortnite with uh with the gang um but like I'm trying to finish my Alan Wake 2 playthrough. I've got a Valhalla playthrough that's going on right now. I've got a Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that's going on right now. I started a new game plus for Spider-Man 2. Uh, Rise of the Ronin amongst the Reddit group is getting really good reviews. So now I wish I kind of picked it up. So as soon as that goes on, say I'm going to pick that up and play it and stream it. Um, but I just don't, yeah, I don't have time. And on top of that, I've got all these classes. I have to do another accelerated class in summer because the professor I wanted his full class the full length class filled up before i could register because registration opened up and i wasn't able to register until two days after i don't know why maybe because i'm new and it was a real bummer because now i have to take another accelerated class um, but he seems like he's going to be a really good professor so like i wanted to get him and i just hope it doesn't turn into another situation of like what i have right now it's 8 a.m for me so my sunday starting off with a good red dead stream you get coffee some ambiance some conversation if we we're all the same in opinions about everything, that would be scary. It would be scary. It would be a scary world. I don't think I would ever play Final Fantasy. I don't think that's my type of game. And I'm, but I am thinking about an Elden Ring playthrough. It's also probably not my type of game. But. I do like the way it looks. If everyone had the same opinion as the world would be a boring place, I agree. I agree. And when I say that you should question things, I'm not saying you should outright disagree with your doctor when you don't have valid evidence to back it up. That's not what I'm saying at all. Like, your doctor is a smart person. Uh, if you're not comfortable with them, you should get a second opinion. I'm not saying you should outright say they're wrong. If you don't have supporting, uh, you know, evidence or reasons why you, you think it's not good, like, you know. That's, it's not good to just question for the sake of questioning necessarily. I think you should have a valid reason behind it. I would love to see you rage on Elden Ring and I would rage. <laughs> I would 100% rage. <laughs> it's on my list of games to pick up. I don't like Souls-like games. Yes, and Elden Ring is Souls-like. Uh, it's because I, I enjoy, this is the coin I'm getting the most of right now, the 1800. Uh, five dollar Beckler. I'm actually at ten again. I like to play on an easier difficulty because I like to enjoy the story. I like to enjoy the story and the combat without it being like, oh, you have to have this perfect, or you're just gonna die over and over and over again. Especially if you're a woman and have weird issues, and your doctor blows you off. Question: Yes. It's so true. It, 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 and if you're a man, unfortunately, you don't have. Uh, you don't have as much of an issue, probably, with doctors as women do. A uh, woman's body is very different when you're talking about our cycles and our hormones. And you know what? There's a lot of shit that goes on that men don't understand. And we do get blown off a lot. Do, do, do. Yes, however, Sim, you're, you're saying that what... You're saying that every, okay. I, I feel like we should probably not not get too much more into this because there's just, uh, it's just gonna pe get people that are gonna get upset and hurt feelings. Um, hey, Gypsy, I hope your day at work is going okay. <laughs> Hopefully I'll let you sit down and have a snack at some point. Um, oh, I can't pick up this bottle because this is here. What I'm saying is that just because someone with PhD or MD after their name says, some, says something doesn't necessarily mean it is a fact. There we go. Because, and here's the reason too, you can have two MDs, two PhDs, and they can have a differing viewpoint of that. So who's right? So who gets to decide who's right there? 
They've looked at the research and evidence. This is the conclusion they've come up with. The other person's looked at the research and evidence they, they've come up with. They've come with. You have you have people with different biases. Uh, it's just it's a it's a very nuanced topic. Also, and let me throw something else out there. There's a lot of things like when we're talking about advancements that people thought were fact and they turned out not to be fact because we got new information fact the earth is flat then we got new information the earth is not flat fact you know the sun is the center of the universe then we got new information you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just saying like i get what you're saying I understand what you're saying, but I also think that I don't want to get into the... I don't like the idea of, of being pigeonholed into this idea that you can't question someone who has MD or PhD after their name. I think that's dangerous. If you're like, oh, they're an MD or PhD, they 100% know what they're talking about. And that's just not... At the end of the day, like, they just have gone to school more than you have. Fact, I need a new pair of sneakers. Same. I get that it wasn't coming on what she said. It was coming on the world we'd be wearing if everyone had the same opinion. That's true. But also, I think it goes to the same line as everything, like questioning stuff, uh, researching things on your own. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. That woman died recently after bleeding so much she passed out and the doctors kept saying it was fibroids and she ended up having cervical cancer. That kind of stuff makes me really mad. Like, that was probably something that could have been avoided and, like, doctors just wouldn't listen. I, I, it's not that I don't trust doctors either. I just like to find good ones because there's, again, doctors are human. They're not all the same. They're not all good. So getting this rec like recommendations are so important anymore. People that have been there and had like good experiences and can talk about like what they've gone through, I, th I think goes a long way. It's so one thing about science, I've ever heard people not trusting scientists when the facts change, but they don't understand the science develops. Science does develop, like, yes, absolutely. It's no, nothing's constant. Like, we, we are not advanced enough to know everything about this world uh, and the universe. That's why science constantly changes and grows and develops as things are discovered. But I also don't think you have to 100% uh, just because the experts and I, I know I know we like me and and a, and a bunch of the people I hang out with would disagree on stuff and I'm not going to get into the whole COVID thing on some things. I do also think that other factors play in than just science when it comes to big issues. And so for me, it's a balance of yes, the science, uh, but also like what's dry the driving force you know behind certain things going on no i see you're not causing any trouble <laughs> i enjoy the conversation if anybody thinks i'm getting upset i'm totally not like i'm not getting upset i hope nobody's getting upset about this conversation i think these are great conversations to have like <laughs> she was just not voting trump next election you live in portugal you don't get a vote <laughs> Let's not get into the election thing. I don't want to vote for anybody <laughs> in the next election. Can we just can we just kick everybody out and get new people and say pay us? <laughs> we're gonna try again. We're gonna we're gonna try again. It's it's rare. There's not a whole lot people could say here, like when it comes to the stuff that would upset me. Because at the end of the day, we're all individual people that have different backgrounds, beliefs, uh, ways of seeing things. And I think that's totally okay. But I am going to be somewhat passionate about backing up my, uh, my stance. What? I can't vote? <laughs> All right. I only got two coyotes. Oh, I never sold a tooth. Oh, I should have, uh, I should have gotten one of those gators. I don't know that I have a tooth. Uh, I have to eat meat. So let me do that real quick one i probably should eat something i have like 30 of here we go two oh no that was probably three is this four five maybe i'm voting for a time machine <laughs> time machine oh do i have to know the resupply or am i out of uh i might be out of materials 
going to be out of supplies before I long. am. I do have a tooth. I have a tooth. Nice. We're operational for another, like, four minutes with what I just put in there. <laughs> uh, where's my phone? Okay, uh, let's see. Let me go sell a tooth. I gotta eat the candies. I gotta go to the moonshine shack. Oh my goodness, too much talking. Uh, <coughs> goodness. That is definitely something Jewel would say. <laughs> I'm not American. <laughs> ah. I do love idiots online arguing about politics. It's amusing. On both sides. <laughs> hmm. I was going to sell a tooth, but I went to the moonshine shack. So I'm going to do these first. I think I have to dance, right? Play with the bam? Might be play with the bam. Let's see. Play with the band. What do you think? Guitar or fiddle? Let's go days. guitar. Nice to see an exception. Well, thank you. Time for a show. Except now I'm going to play on my own. Mm. <laughs> Eat your candy before you sell your teeth. They have dentists back then? Can I eat the chocolates? Oh, we need to know the res resupply. Nice. <laughs> I didn't think we were getting it close enough to do a resupply with those materials. <laughs> I wonder how many people teeth had, or how many teeth people had back then. Like, how many did they lose? How many did they get to keep? Like, nowadays, if I have a brain fart, I'm just going to call it a Biden moment. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bad right now with everything. I seriously don't want another election. Like, I, I don't, I don't need, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like, what, what do we, kick everybody, everybody, kick everybody out. <laughs> the senators, all the representatives, everybody, governors, kick, like, get rid of, let's start fresh. <laughs> just kick everybody out. Anybody who has ever had any political office, you are not allowed to run for anything. Get out. <laughs> Go find a job. <laughs> Go find a job. Let's have no politics. You mean like ever, like in the world? Like we do need to have, we do need to have people in government. We just need to get better people in government. Maybe I'll have a guitar teacher to teach me the moonshine song. Have her teach you that this one's a good one. What if every American voting citizen just didn't vote? That would never happen. You know why it would never happen? Because we can't let the other side win. I don't know if you could hear that, me whispering that. Other side can't win. We must win. We don't even care what the issues are. We don't even care if we think we have the better candidate. This is such a good one. I like it. All right, let me drink my moonshine. Gave up voting, doesn't matter um, who or which party, none of them do anything for us. It's all what helps them. I will still vote, but I rarely vote for one of the primary, like, Democrat, Republican. I vote for the person who I legitimately think is would do a good job. And sometimes that's an independent or a third party. And so I know that means that my vote's not counting for too much. But at the end of the day, I got to vote for what I think is best. Um, I still want to vote and participate and let people out there know that some people don't agree with, you know, the main two, but 
I don't think it makes much of a difference at this moment. Maybe one day people will start to get fed up with the system. Mm, all right, so I can do another resupply. So that is actually going to be eight and I can use blending tonics, which will be nine. <laughs> BA says I'm staying out, not voicing my opinion on this topic. Uh, we don't have to, yeah, nobody has to get into particulars of politics other than we're fed up with the system because yeah, that would be a very volatile subject there. I know even in our main group, there is a wide variety of political opinions. Yeah. Massively wide. I like to think that I probably sit somewhere more close to the middle. Uh, like I would agree with some on some stuff, agree with others on other stuff, but yeah. Is that a bear? Hi, bear. See, I have some horses that won't won't ride up to a black bear. They're too skittish. Look at this little Arabian. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to run you over. Get up and run. I'm sorry. Be free. Be free, black bear. Nice horse. Thanks. I love this little Arabian. This was the this is the oldest horse in my stables. It took me forever to save up like the 55 gold to get it. I think it's, is it 55? It's somewhere around there. Forever. This was back before rolls and you had to grind gold through uh, stranger missions. That's it. I know I'm such a bully. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not 100% into your politics. I control though. Yeah. I was watching a Beyonce documentary. I saw Biden in the background when he was Obama's vice president. I was like, he looks like he should have been president then more in favor that politics should be treated as a job. At least in my country, uh, some parliament members don't attend meetings because they are running their companies. Yeah, I, th I honestly think we need more actual business people uh, in roles here in America and not career politicians. I don't think career politicians is like, yeah, a job. I think that you should have a job and have had jobs and run businesses. And then I think you should get into government to help affect change that is gonna be good for this country. And career politicians who've been in office for 30 plus years, I think that shouldn't be a thing. <gasps> Arabians are on sale right now. It's true. Could have this fantastic little Arabian. And if you have this horse mask, you can get the sleek mane to be pushed forward like this so it's black and white instead of uh, two different colors. And it's fantastic. <laughs> All right, what was I doing? Blending tonics? I have to sell a tooth. And I have to do a resupply. Blending tonics. Sell a tooth. My focus needs more focus. I got the Grief for Raven on sale. I wish they had the red from Story. I would totally buy that one. The red with the black legs. Black mane and tail. That's true too, Winterfall, I do agree. There is a lot that would be, yeah. The, I think, yeah. The problem is our government has just become something that it was never supposed to be. But you're right. There do need to be things in place because obviously you don't want bias. What I'm, I guess what I mean by it is I, I just think career politicians is the way to go. Like we should have people, like real actual people that live in the community that want to affect change. Uh, in, in government. And I don't think they should be able to sit that long. I don't think there should be like these lifetime terms or whatever where they can just be there forever. Well, I think there should be limits. I was wondering when you'd be back. I gotta sell a tooth. Didn't I have gator teeth? There it is. Whoa. Where did that can I get candy on the weapon wheel? I can. Chocolate bars. Hey, Rowdy, how's it going? And that goes back to like the things I was talking about earlier, how there's more more in play than just, uh, you know, necessarily the science or the research or facts. And that goes into play of like who's funding stuff, like who's lobbying for stuff to be done. Like none of that stuff should exist. It is true. I agree with that, Rose. I, I think. Yeah. Tis true. Tis true. I honestly feel like the people who should be in government should be like the normal, 
<laughs> and again, there would still be, it's humans, there would still be corruption. Uh, look, it should just be somebody that lives in the community, that's active in the community, making change already through their businesses, through nonprofits, through stuff that's going on, that genuinely cares about the community that wants to affect change. And I get that that's like the unicorn, you know, or the pipe dream or whatever you want to call it. Because at the end of the day, people are human and probably those people don't want to sit in any type of government. But I just, I don't know. Government is just big and it's, it's yeah, it's a career politician thing. And it's like the people in there aren't, aren't they don't. Not only do they not care about the community, they're not in the community. They make a shit ton of money. They don't know what it's like. Uh, they don't know what it's like to live uh, under the conditions that are being set. What's actually going on in the economy? They they don't. They're not in it. They're they're so far removed from what the everyday citizen goes through that how can they affect change? It doesn't affect them. They don't care. They're making, you know, a six-figure salary, you know, sitting in a government seat, you know, doing nothing. Like, I don't know. I'm sure there's some people in government that legitimately are trying to change stuff, and they're good people. But... Ah! We're flying! Can't see anything. It's foggy. Sir, I hit you with a shotgun twice. I think you should be dead. Okay, this guy has some kind of force shield around him. Oh, that's the. That's because that's the guy. <laughs> Where'd the bad guy go? I was like, why can't I shoot him? That's why. Yeah, no, Sim, I'm not touching that one. <laughs> no, we're not talking about uh, shootings and gun control. Not touching that one. And nobody else in chat is going to touch that one either. I'll delete your comments. Can I get anything good? A few good politicians in our office are getting uh, overruled by corrupt ones, yeah. We're not talking about it because, first of all, if you don't live in America, you have a very... I'm sorry, but if you live in a tiny little country with no borders or no boarding countries or very few, you don't understand the nuances, first of all, of this country, and you don't understand how it was founded. And so we're not going to talk about a topic that has such a wide variety of opinions and uh, is such a volatile topic. <laughs> so we'll we'll move on. <laughs> we'll move on from that one. That is a that is an off stream conversation. That's a face to face conversation in order to have that one and not it not turn ugly. I think. <gasps> My camp was so close. Well done. <laughs> Anybody know of any new games that are coming out coming up? I haven't heard about anything that I'm excited about. But I also haven't kept on it. I was so excited for Rise of the Ronin and when it got such bad reviews and I even watched gameplay, I was like, ooh. But now I'm like reading, people on Reddit are like talking about how good it is and I'm like, ah, I'm definitely gonna get it when it goes on sale. But like now I kind of wish I had just gotten it and streamed it. So say, do I not have a horse? I've got a couple things on my wish list right now. But honestly, I really want to fish. So Alan Wake 2's DLCs should be coming out soon ish, sometime this year at least. Elden Ring's definitely on the list. I think I'll hate it. 
Do 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 do. Where's my where's my wish list here? Play store. All right. So all my wish list. Sorry. Oh, Planet Zoo came out. Um, I'm thinking about doing Banishers, Ghost of New Eden. It's actually on sale right now for forty seven ninety nine. Uh, has anybody played that yet? McDizzle played it, said it was really good. Um, so that's my that's my wish list. I was thinking about getting that one. Red Dead Two, obviously, or Red Dead One, I'll get when it goes down a little further. Rise of the Ronin hasn't gone down yet. Um, I have Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Survivor on here. I played a little bit of that. That was pretty good. That one's on sale. Elden Ring is not on sale right now. I kind of want to do a Lego game on stream, but I can't get Lego Lord of the Rings unless I do it through PC. So I might check that out. I might do some streaming through the PC and do Lego Lord of the Rings. Just as something kind of fun that's different. Just a, kind of like a... I don't want to say it's not really a cozy game, but like something that we could chat easily while, you know, it's being played. And it's cool because it's like watching the movies. Mirage to play next. Let me know how that is. Mirage has definitely been put on the way back burner. I, I am. When's Code Red supposed to come out? Anybody know? Does that have a release date yet? AC Code Red. <clears throat> I don't think that that has a release date. Uh, again, I don't. Uh, Assassin's Creed games are just so like. Mm, So Rose on PlayStation, I don't, I can't get pirates. Can you believe that? Stupid Xbox. I fucking hate you. I also can't get Lego Lord of the Rings on my PlayStation. It was a PS3 game and it was never ported to PS4. You can get The Hobbit for PS5, but it's not a good, it's not as good of a game. Um, I think I can only get the Star Wars ones on, I can do Harry Potter. I could do Harry Potter. I could do like a Harry Potter playthrough, Lego Harry Potter. I've got that. I actually own those. Uh, yeah, Winterfall. That's such a weird, uh, it's almost like something else was supposed to happen there, but it doesn't. Why are you hating? Because Xbox can get older stuff that PlayStation can't get. I'm hating on PlayStation. <laughs> but also on Xbox for yep. doing better at that when, I, <laughs> when I've got a, when I've got a PlayStation. Yeah, it doesn't look like Code Red has a... Oh, March 2025. Ooh. So that's next year then. Oh, this said originally releasing 2024, but now this one month ago says potentially 2025, I guess. Terrible. I don't know that I'll love it because, again, Assassin's Creed, but I do like the whole uh, setting. Watch the video of Red Dead 3. I was reading an article about Red Dead 3 last night, and it was hilarious. They see me rolling. Doo -doo. Uh, all right, let's go grab a, grab a couple more of these collectibles. I think I've done all the dailies I'm gonna do. I could get two more coyotes. I'm at 0.25, so that was a pretty good amount. Try to make it to 3,000 gold. My uh, <laughs> my money's gone way down because I've been buying and discarding all the horses for the video. Uh, let me go to Van Horn. Hopefully they do a port. Oh wait, I just remembered the other day, unless you have a PS3, only console can play GTA 4. Uh, the only console you can play GTA 4 on is Xbox. Hopefully they do a port. I heard they might be doing it because of the GTA Plus thing. Boo. That's one thing that PlayStation is really, really bad about. Like, they did not do a good job with uh, porting old stuff or like being able to play, have access to old stuff. It's kind of a shame. Like, Lego Lord of the Rings is such a good game. I actually have, to Platinum, I'm at 97%, and I'll never be able to complete it. Unless I go buy a PS3. <laughs> and even then, I won't have access to my playthrough. I'd have to do it again. Metal hairpin. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna need you to take it down a notch. <laughs> my money's gone down so 10 times when I haven't read that I was trying to make it to a million though because like I could make it to a million this time I'm not spending as much but I was like I feel like I was like 850 and I'm down to 814 I'm getting a little bit chilly 
Do, do, do. I'm gonna have to go sit in the sun, soak up some vitamin D. Flint Arrowhead, I need a slate. I need a slate. I have a birthday party to go to, but my introvert side is like, ooh, don't go. <laughs> I feel that all the time. All the time. I don't want to go to a party. We only have two of those. I should have grabbed it on the way out of town. I bought all the Metal Gear Solid games because I never played them. That was an Xbox thing. Was that an Xbox thing? I feel like we had one Xbox growing up, but I don't remember which one. I know my older brother, obviously we had NES, Sega Genesis, uh, we had GameCube. My older brother had a PS1. My first PlayStation was a two. And then I got two, three, four, five, yeah. Do, 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 do. Why does it feel like, it's like I don't pay attention when we're in a daytime cycle and then we're just in a nighttime cycle again and I'm like, why is it night? I think Metal Gear was part, oh, it was PlayStation. Okay, I don't remember. I guess that just wasn't. I, uh, let's be real. Before I started like playing Red Dead a lot and getting into other games, mostly what I played was just horse games. Mary King's Riding Star, Equestriad, um, Gallop Racer. Um. <gasps> Another Liberty Quarter. I made eight of those now. Nice. I was six when we started. I got two today. Dude, I don't know what they did, but like I am getting rare stuff way more frequently. It's crazy. Do, do, do. What I need to do through though is go through, like you can see I only have one set of like the cards. That's abysmal. I need to go through and actually figure out what I'm missing to get a second, like the seven of wands. I only need the seven of wands to get to a second set. <coughs> I'll we'll just need to take some time and do that. Technically, I have a month, though, because obviously this is not collector this month. So if it's next month, yep. if I if I started focusing on on now, I could have a lot. of I could get up to a million when collector goes on bonus, I think. With the way my collections are going. Oh goodness. I got the cool off. Metal Gear 5 has a horse to tra traverse the map? I think that was the first game I saw a horse pooping in a video game <laughs> and then Red Dead 2 came along. You got all sorts of horse mechanics. Things shrink in the cold. They poop all the time. All right, let me take a look at the newswire. We never actually, this is my first time streaming this week because of the stupid class. Let me see what we got going on here. Uh, I wasn't able to put the outfit together because I have all the stuff on this account. I should switch over to my other account and try to make it. Oh, that's right. Call to Arms is two times gold and two times ability card XP, which they haven't done in a while. Um, so if you're trying to rank up ability cards, that would actually be good. A, a call to arms would be good to go into. Um, three times money and XP on Land of Opportunities missions. That's not going to get you a ton. Three times Red Dead money and XP on Telegram missions. Again, not going to get you a ton. Um, freedom events are awarding four times XP. Yeah, that should be an okay amount of XP. Like, not, not fantastic. Um... In addition to reaping four times XP, participate in any free room event between now and April 29th to receive the following rewards each month, a week this month. Uh, so if you do a free room event this week, you're going to get a pair of red and orange furred gloves. 
Um, definitely, if you're a newer player, make sure you do one next week because you're going to get 40% off an ability card upgrade. So that's probably the best one of the group. Hey, Corbin. Uh, complete three daily challenges anytime this month to receive an offer for 40% off a coat. Oh, yeah. And 5,000 XP. I loaded in the other day and I had that. Uh, I had three coupons for 5,000 XP. Which was interesting. I love that. Rose is like, I meant noise, not invoice. <laughs> uh, we do love autocorrect. What was I trying to say the other day? I was texting Gypsy and I was like, stop changing what I'm saying. What I'm saying is right. Oh, look, Hardcore Head for the Hills is the featured series. Hey, if we need to do any um, dailies, though, like we could get into a hard, uh, Head for the Hills just in Hardcore. But we'd only have access. It'd have to be like kills or something because we'd only have access to a Lancast. I'm sorry, Litchfield, a pump, I think, and... Is it like one cattleman or something? Free community inspired outfit. Yeah, I I could maybe put it together based off this picture. When it gets light, I'll, I'll give it a try. Yeah, it's like they, yeah, you got three of the voucher? Yeah, I did too. <laughs> it actually ranked me up. It took me to 868. Because it was 15,000 XP. It's like they messed up. Do, 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 do. I think for me, part of it, why probably why I've stuck with PlayStation, is the controller. I like the uh, joysticks being side by side. I don't like the asymmetrical joystick because of the way I hold my hand. Well, I don't like it, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. Yeah. He will eat them in a box. He will eat them with a fox. He will eat them here or there. I want to try to look up that cartoon. <laughs> it's been a long time. All right, we're going to have to break out our lantern. It's the darkness. I like how- I wish you could just clip it to your pants. Right here? I think it's further back. It is further back. If you get seizures, look away from the screen. <laughs> uh, I've always liked the flat front buttons on PlayStation and they click better for whatever reason, but other than the loudness, I really love the Xbox controller. It just really needs an update. Splintered airhead, boo. I need a slate. I need a slate. Buttons are uber loud on an Xbox controller, which I think is funny. But yeah, I prefer the... And it's, it's probably mostly just because of what I'm used to. The X, the PlayStation 5 controller is a little bit too big for my hands. Um, so the the Xbox S controller, I don't know if it's the same as the X, but it is actually a, a little bit of a better size. I love my Pro Xbox controller. Are the joysticks side by side? <laughs> oh, my horse is all the way over there. Is he going to run all the way around? Shadow, what are you doing? Just swim across the water. Look at him. <laughs> He's going to run all the way around. It has extra buttons that you can program. Yeah, Gypsy's got one of those fancy PS5 controllers. You can program the buttons. So many programmable buttons. Like, I feel like I would... 
eventually do better in things like Fortnite if I had programmable buttons. But at the same time, like, I don't know. Muscle memory is a thing. And I don't feel like... I tried to do back buttons once and it was awful. Like, I just couldn't get used to it. He's like, you'll get used to it. And I was like, I don't want to get used to it. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I don't know what it is, but now that I play with both, I don't really get bothered by the joysticks. I sometimes get tripped up by the D-pad location if I play on one cons console more, uh, more that week. Yep, we're gonna crash and do it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. It, it drives me crazy. I guess I would get used to it if I use the Xbox control, controller a lot, but... Alright, daytime cycle. Let me grab these last couple of things and let's see if we can go put this outfit together. It not, it's not a bad looking outfit in the picture. What time is it? 12-11? Okay. Ooh. Somebody delivering something outside? It sounded like a sliding door. I feel like my character looks like she's cold. You need a coat. I wish you could just keep a coat on your saddle and then just like put a coat on your outfit whenever you're cold. Take it off whenever you're hot. That would have been a nice feature. Instead of having to have like two separate outfits, like the same outfit, one with a coat, one without a coat. All right, we're carrying the max amount of the 1800 dimes. So I'm gonna have to sell again. This might be inside. Oh, there it is. I see it. <coughs> it's up top. It's up top, girl. There it is. All right. Let's go see if we can put this outfit together. campsite there we go yeah i feel like the customizing that's why pc like keyboard and mouse does so much better on some stuff because the customization which you can't just can't do that on a regular controller i just it's hard for me to like relearn stuff i guess that not not even relearn it's not the right word it's just i have so many hours in this game doing it a certain way like the muscle memory is insane at this point like i couldn't even somebody asked me a question about how to do something and i'll be like i have no idea like i just have to do it like ducking i can never tell somebody how to duck but when i get in the game i can do it immediately and i but i just can't remember hey it's l2 and square <laughs> it's like aim and square but it's because it's just like muscle memory i like just do it i do it so much that when i play story Good to have you. i uh don't I try to duck as well. <laughs> and it doesn't work. You can't duck. Um, all right, so let's go to clothing. Okay, so we got the gambler's hat. By the way, limited stock, the gardenia hat is back. So if you would like a beautiful flowered well, hat, I can only take gold perfect if you're going out for afternoon tea. You know, you can get that. Uh, let's see. What was it called again? Gambler's hat. Okay. Gambler's hat. Gambler's hat. Gambler's hat. You make the calls here. Uh, did I pass it? Uh, can we, uh, a feather top hat. Oh, here we go. Okay. Gambler's hat. All right. And it looks like a brown. Your hat says a lot about you. Make sure mm. it says the right this one? thing. I'm thinking this one. Looks a little bit browner in the picture, but it could just be the lighting. It's the only one with the brown and the tan like band, I see. That's too light. 
Okay, we're gonna go with that one. It's that no one? Okay, perfect. All. Uh, all right, so uh, let's skip the trim bandana for now. We gotta get the other stuff on. Uh, so let's I do the Anestia shirtwaist female. Shop. I can't actually Buy see it, me, so I don't know what color. And I have all of them. Oh, is there a coat? Let's see if there's a coat. That's next here. Classic frock coat, and it looks like a brownish. All right, classic frock coat. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. We might not own this one. <gasps> we don't. Look at that. Now that will bring your outfit. Together. Actually, this goes like really well with a, a white shirt. Okay, white shirt. So white anestia. This kind of goes well with like the outfit I'm wearing already. Oh, there was the anestia. Here we go. Okay, so white one. So like this one here. And next. No vest, right? So we'll have to take our vest off. Oh, it is a vest. Valdez vest. Oh, I like that one. That's a good vest. Let me know uh, I, I own this it. one. It's the brown one, right? So this one here. Brown Valdez. Yeah, it's got to be that one. These are all oh, too light. Man, okay, yourself. brown Valdez. Looks excellent on you. Okay. Uh, the pants are... Cuff town pants. They do like to use those. They like to use the cuff town pants. And they look like just the brown one or the black ones. So black town cuff. These ones here would be my guess. Um, you said the clean brown roper boots. I stand behind everything I sell in this Strickland place. boots are so back, by the way. Just with confidence. Warren Roper. Okay. Uh, so many boots. It's the last one on the page. Huh. I don't own, actually own a lot of these. Okay. And so nice. Are. Those were actually free. I didn't have to pay for them. They're like $9, but it's okay. Oh, I have chaps on over. I got to take the chaps off. Um which I can't do in here. I'm going to go. Okay, so gloves. We got leather gloves, and they look like the black ones. Which I should own already. Yeah. Okay, black gloves. Um, and bandana. I think you said the solid black bandana, and it's the trimmed bandana. That will require gold to purchase. Do you have some? Sweet. I didn't that own that one either. One of my that one's free. Favorites. I think I got it. Oh, and the I need to put the bandolier on. Boots, pants, gloves, vest, overshirt, frock coat, what color bandana, gimstar. Okay, so this is it. But I don't have the bandolier on, so I got to put the bandolier on. And we'll take the chaps off just to get... The chaps do actually kind of go with it, Are I think. For something to go with what you it's, not a, it's definitely not a bad outfit at all, I don't think. Why don't I have the bandana on? I actually don't like the white shirt with it, I guess, unless the bandana's there to cover it. Even then, I feel like the shirt should be... I don't know. Should be, like, brown. The chaps do surprisingly go though, but let's take them off so we get the full effect. If you need a nice place to try on your clothes, my changing room is available. Uh, all right. Then we need to go to weapons equipment. All right. The bandolier is the Salazo double bandolier. Anybody know which one? You covered the uh, face completely. I forgot you can do that with the trim bandana. Now be sure to check the I think it's that first one there. Could be this one. First one? The black one? This one? No, that's gray. That looks gray, right? So it's got to be this first one. Oh, wait. These are both kind of gray or black. That looks better. Black and gold, not black and silver. Yeah, so it's got to be this one. I get all 
all sorts walk okay. into this establishment, but they all and let's change our gun belt because that's not going to match now. I don't think. Uh, I guess it kind of matches, but let's go with a black gun belt. We need to go with traditional. Uh, let's go with the woven. I feel like that'll go. Maybe not. Offhand. I only stock the best in my shop. Mm, I don't know how I feel about that. Be disappointed. All right, so this is the outfit for the month. I feel like with some tweaks, you can make this really good. Let me get those off. All right. Turn here. I might have liked it better with the chaps, actually. And I don't necessarily like the white shirt underneath it. It's definitely not a bad looking outfit though. I forget how to put the... I am a griefer. I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna get the bandana bug every time I travel now. It's not, a, it's not a bad outfit. I probably would not... Honestly, I don't like the hat. Yeah, I don't like the hat. The hat looks kind of... Mm. Come on, ladies. This sirloin will put a smile on your man's face. Guaranteed. I feel like there's probably a better hat out there. Let's go no hat for a minute. Yeah, that actually looks better without the hat. I bet you there's a better hat you could do. I don't necessarily like the white under it. I feel like it doesn't quite go. Well, that was fast. Is there something else I can I get feel for? like maybe if I change but then the bandana would like blend in. I feel like if the shirt was like black and the bandana was brown, maybe that would be better. Um but let's see. Is it weird how that kind of looks good? <laughs> All the finest of today's fashions are right here in the catalog. That's actually not bad, except you got the little purple detailing up there. Uh, I put the black Tiltum hat with it and it looks good. Oh, Arthur. Oh, that's just one color. Okay. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. Wear my flower hat. Do do do. See how the hat's just like some of them just look weird on her. That's actually not terrible. That's actually not questions. You just let me know. That's actually like not bad, I feel like. Come back anytime. There's the sunlight. The shade is kind of off. <clears throat> in the sun. I think I saw all these, yeah. Okay. That's not terrible. I think all these are just slightly, like, not quite right. I take pride in my selection here. Everything here is of exceptional quality. I have all the hats that I will never use. I 
I feel like honestly, I would just go Sans hat. I forgot I had an outfit I used to use with uh, this black version of this hat, which was nice. Here we go. Could wear the flower hat. We have styles for all persuasions, but I'm sure you'll look good in anything you choose. Yeah, just slightly off on. Okay, all right, that's maybe not bad. Not quite. Did I pass by the tilt mat? I did. I must have passed by it. All right. Uh. People say us tailors all sound the same, but I find that rather offensive. So you did this one? Did you do like, is there a brown version that I don't have? I only have a black. Let's see. You did the black, okay. Is that under, yeah, that is under hats. There's a brown, but it's got that band that's like. Now, what is your prefer? Now that goes with just about any outfit. I think for me, I'd probably change the shirt. I'd probably put some chaps back on to balance it, um, and maybe change the bandana. Like. Definitely not a bad outfit. I could probably tweak it a bit for my style. <laughs> that is so, like, teal. <laughs> it's not a bad hat. I was on my third account, which I can't really buy any clothes on. Welcome back. I feel like the, the brown type outfits I have right now I like better than this outfit, so I probably wouldn't do this one. Um... So like right now, I think I would just need to tweak this a bit. Ah, what am I trying to do? Can't remember which is, no, it's not that one. Yeah, so this this is my like brown outfit that I like right now. But I think actually if I took this and just put that coat over it, I actually think that would be a pretty good outfit. Welcome so back. the coat from this outfit. Was that was just the frock coat, right? The classic frock? Is it this one? It's all wet. So I actually think that makes a pretty decent outfit <laughs> right there. Without changing all the other stuff. I wonder if I did that and then just did like the hat. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. So many hats. You drunk at your moonshine, Jack? Well, it's a challenge to see how many clothes I can get free off Rockstar. It's a good challenge. Honestly, I kind of like that. I don't, again, the hat is not like, I don't know that I love the hat, but like, to me, I like this better than that other outfit. It's hard to see now with the rain. So many people hanging around. Is everybody being chill? Bingo wings. Do do do. It's a raining. I like myself to buy a cold weather outfit coat, but that's it. Yeah, that's like so important when you're a player too, because you don't have the tonics to like make up for. Losing out on heat. 
Let's see, where's the lighting at? Yeah. I actually kind of like that. I found a bunch of outfits of, on Pinterest that I like, so now I'm broke again. <laughs> I like to look for inspiration from people, for sure. They put together some good outfits. About to be ranked 360. Nice. I'm sorry, puppers. Here, I'm going to give you a little pets. Except you won't wag your tail because it's raining. You don't like to be pet in the rain. The black version of the hat they gave you looks really good, too. The gambler's hat. I should probably own it. Let's see. Gambler's hat, gambler's hat. Do, do, do. I wish you could search or put them in alpha, uh, like, al um, order alphabetically. It's like this one. I feel like with hats, sometimes they just sit too far up on her head. So they kind of look like they're not like fitting her head very well. I feel like that's the case of this one. It's definitely a good looking hat. I just don't know that it fits my girl. I feel like she just ultimately looks better without a hat. See how high? I feel like that sits so high. Like I like them when they sit down a little bit more. Like, I feel like that looks a little bit better. I don't really think that goes, but... That's not terrible, actually. That's not bad. It's kind of flashy. Ultimately, I just think she looks good without a hat. I like how she, like, touches her hair. So like, get that hat off me. Yeah, looks better. So this is not really the outfit this month now. This is my my outfit <laughs> version with the coat over it, basically. The brown ONG looks really good. Oops, no, not outfits. Hats. ONG la. Oh my gosh. So the brown ONG list, so this one? I don't know if that brown quite is like a slightly different oh maybe not. Yeah, that brown's a that brown looks red in this lighting. It's hard to tell. Plus, we're losing the lighting now. How are we already going down into a nighttime cycle? <gasps> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, guys. On that note, I am going to go ahead and wrap it up so I can go grab some food and maybe sit outside in this beautiful weather and hopefully work on this video a little bit more. Appreciate you guys hanging out today. Thanks for the conversation. I know some of you guys don't like to talk about stuff like that. Um... But, you know, I don't mind it. So um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Um, I still have about three more weeks of this accelerated class, so I'm still very limited on live streams. Um, I'm not sure when I'll be live again. It might not be till next weekend, but we'll see how it goes. So thank you. I appreciate all your guys' support, uh, and I hope you have a great weekend. Talk to you soon, everybody. Bye.